Welcome back. You're watching Fight Back. Let us now redress your telecom, insurance and online shopping related grievances. Manish Sharma now joins us from Mumbai. He has a complaint against Reliance Communications. Tell us, Manish, what's the problem that you had? I got this Reliance prepaid connection for my mother who's staying alone in Mumbai. And I got it from the Reliance web world by submitting all the documents. And I completed all the documentation inside the web world. And then I was handed over this prepaid card. The card got activated after three hours after I received a call from Reliance Communication confirming all my details. And then I left for Delhi and my mother was staying alone in Mumbai. Four days from four days later, my, uh, my prepaid connection was disconnected. And uh, when I tried to get in touch with the customer service of Reliance prepaid, I was told that the reason the disconnection has taken place is because I had not completed the documentation. I then clarified to the person who was answering the call that I had completed all the documents and since the card was purchased from the Reliance Web World, there was no, no way they could have handed over the card to me in case I had not completed the documentation. I also told them the kind of seriousness of the situation was because since my mom was staying alone and I had to be in touch with her, so if they could recollect, reconnect the connection, I could have resubmitted the documents once I was back in Mumbai. But the customer service did not uh, uh, take uh, notice of my request and told me that the line would remain disconnected. Manish, has the company got back to you after you wrote to fight back? Uh, right on Monday morning, I got a call from uh, Reliance Communication, Media Cell, and they told me that the problem has already been identified and has also been rectified, and now that the reconnection would be a matter of an hour or so, and after that the line would not be disconnected again. I am extremely thankful to the Bloomberg Fightback team. All right, Manish, we are glad that we could help you. Let's also listen in to what the company had to say in response to your complaint. In response to Fightback, Reliance Communication says, and I quote, We spoke to the customer and regretted for the inconvenience caused to him. We took up the issue with the concerned department and the services of the requested number have been successfully activated. The case is closed with customer satisfaction. End of quote. Ranjan now joins us on the phone line from Bangalore. He has a complaint against ICICI Prudential Life Insurance. Tell us, Ranjan, what's the problem that you had to go through? I am holding uh, ICIC Prudential uh, Wealth Plan, which I have taken three years back. And uh, uh, for the last three years, I have been paying the premium of Rs. 50,000 every year through my credit card. This year, without my permission, they have taken Rs. 50,000 from my credit card. I have approached to their uh, ICICI customer care, care many times, and I also uh, wrote mail to their uh, senior staff. But no one has responded, uh, responded positively. I have waited for at least 15 to 20 days to get the money back from them. Has the insurance company gotten back to you after you wrote to Fight Back? With the support of Bloomberg TV Fight Back Forum, I got my money back within one month from ICAG Prudential. Thanks a lot for Bloomberg TV. I really appreciate your help. All right, Ranjan, we are glad that we could help you. And this is what ICICI Prudential Life Insurance had to say in response to your complaint. In response to fight back, ICICI Prudential Life says, and I quote, We have taken cognizance of the customer's complaint and as a special case, we have offered to refund the premium amount. Additionally, as per the request of the customer, we have discontinued the auto premium collection on the customer's credit card. The resolution offered by the company has been accepted by the customer. End of quote. Amit Puri has sent us this email from New Delhi. He alleges that Jabong.com declined to replace the product despite it being under warranty. In an email to fight back, Amit claims to have purchased a school bag. Amit claims to have paid a higher price to purchase the same. He claims to have faced issues with the bag's quality. He also alleges that the bag got damaged. Amit claims to have requested the company representatives for a replacement. He further alleges that the company representatives denied replacing the bag. In response to fight back, Jabong.com says, and I quote, We have issued the refund in the form of the check, especially for the customer. And as a service gesture, we have also placed an order for a T-shirt as gift for his son on behalf of Jabong.com. Customer is satisfied with the kind of service that is provided to him. End of quote. All right, with that, it's time to wrap up this edition of Fight Back. We will continue to protect your rights as a consumer and keep a vigil on those who pose a threat to your money. We will return same time next week because the truth must be told. 
If you want to register your complaint with us, call us on 02240987444. You can also email us at feedback@btvin.com or follow us on Twitter at feedback_btv. You can also SMS us. Just type FB space with your complaint in the message box and send it to 09773270010. We will help you fight back.